Let's go on, move to another business story that is kind of funny, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's put this up on the screen. So you may recall that Amazon uh, rolled out with great fanfare these quote unquote, just walk out grocery stores where you go in, you just put the stuff in your cart. They allegedly had this high tech that was scanning things as you were placing them in your cart. You walk out, it charges your card, you get your receipt, you're done. You don't even have to go through a checkout line. Well, they just announced that they're killing this just walk out tech. And the reason is because it never actually really worked. In reality, this you know sophisticated AI, et cetera, et cetera, was really powered by somewhere around a thousand human beings who were watching and checking what you were putting in your basket and making sure that you were getting charged for the right things who were based in India. So shoppers were reporting, you can come back up on me at this point, shoppers were reporting that they weren't getting their receipts for hours and hours. They're like, what is going on here? Now, listen, it's always in any sort of AI model, you have to use human beings at the beginning to help the system learn. But apparently, the tech was so clunky, it really wasn't learning. They were continuing to have to rely on human beings surveilling you as you shop and having all sorts of problems with you know, the design of the store and having to make sure everything is precisely in place or else it didn't really work out. I bet there was a high mistake rate as well if you're having to rely on these sort of like you know tech kludges and human being reviewers yeah. in order to make this work. So ultimately... The idea of this just walk out technology was basically a fantasy and a fairy tale. And I think it kind of ties in with what we were talking about earlier, how all of these companies have moved more towards you know, financialization than actual mm -hmm. innovation because apparently they didn't have the chops to get this thing to work. Yeah, this is actually hilarious because there was one here in D.C. and I actually went to one and the entire experience, it was exactly as you said, I didn't get the receipt for a long time and I just wanted to try it and I'll just see how it was. The whole thing actually felt very creepy and I'm very glad that the technology was not nearly as dystopian as they made it out to be. It wasn't AI, it was just a bunch of guys in India and Bangladesh reviewing f uh, footage, then <laughs> ringing it up. And like you said, there's a huge amount of human error that can then result in it. The funny thing is too, now that they are closing, they have blockbuster deals if you have have, by the way, been able to take advantage of this. For example, they're selling like olive oil, like a liter of olive oil right now in DC for like $2. So people wow. are just going through and stocking up, taking advantage. So if you have one in your area, I highly recommend that you, you take advantage of that. need olive oil, guys. This is the place. Hey, it's an expensive place. It's expensive. <laughs> uh, think of the, people were getting Rouse sauce as well. Uh, but this does oh, highlight- know, I'm not really a fan of that, but anyway, go ahead. I've never, I've never even had it. I, I, apparently it's expensive. Okay, that, that's apparently uh, what I've been told. This is one our producer found, which is amazing. Let's put this up there on the screen, where you have a cashier at a, I think it's a coffee shop there, that is zooming into New York City to help you with your transaction from the Philippines. And Incredible. apparently though, this is not the first time uh, that this type of technology has been debuted. And there's a lot of various uh, self-service type places where if you do need a little bit of the human help, you can have somebody zoom on the screen there that actually can help you ring them up. They have some security features and others where they can like help open the door for you and all that. But you can pay them only five to six dollars per hour to operate like that. So why wouldn't you try and take advantage of your bit, you know, in one of these types of businesses as opposed to paying a actual human being that is there? Now, look, I still think it's creepy and it won't necessarily take off. But if enough people do it, and if they could refine the tech into some sort of, uh, I don't know, like a hologram or a bigger screen or something, maybe they need a screen as big as ours uh, that's over here. They could make it work. It is just clear though that. Things, you know, we were promised AI and all this awesome future of the Jetsons. It's just mm. a lot more dystopian than that. Yeah, it's being used to make life shittier, not better. Mm -hmm. By and mm -hmm. large, I'm, you know, with exceptions. Sagar likes his Apple Vision Pro thing. That's right. But that's that's right. a tease for future. We got a little update yeah. on that for you guys. But um, the company, according to the gentleman who tweeted this out, who has a Substack, by the way, it's called Happy Cashier. It's apparently operating in five different Asian fast food places in New York City. And so, yeah, when you're doing your self-checkout situation, which of course now has become totally commonplace in all sorts of different restaurants, CVS, grocery store, whatever, if you're doing that and you have trouble, I guess that's when you get the 
the call in, the Zoom mm -hmm. call in from the Philippines to assist you with your transaction. It's not really any different than we've all, you know, become very accustomed to the fact that call centers are, you know, many of them are outsourced, that when you're talking to someone trying to solve whatever problem you have on the phone, these people are likely dialing in from another location. But it does show you that, um, you know, the idea that service sector work would be immune from, certainly from technology, we already know that is not the case, but from offshoring is obviously not true as well, because, hey, why not? Why pay an American worker, you know, a higher minimum wage and have to deal with labor standards when you can get someone who's less expensive overseas and, you know, who really cares about labor standards from the company's perspective, who really cares about customer experience? If all of my competitors are gonna do the same thing, you're not really gonna have any choice anyway. So there you go. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right, we're subscriber funded, we're building something new, we wanna replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.